weather check um, not that sunny it was there was sun but it just suddenly became cloudy and overcast and the wind gang is just really strong at the moment welcome back to my edition of vlogtober i'm still waiting on reply to i mean on reply on a reply from dave uh, my mate you guys know you guys probably seen him on the uh, vlog this is known as pipe with media anyway i'm waiting for his reply because he said that the weather is crap and he said that he wants to go squash instead because we, we we're, we're supposed to go to tennis but he wants to go to squash instead because of the weather the weather is just i don't know it just became overcast out of nowhere but i'm not really into i'm not really keen into playing squash i really want to play tennis i got my mindset on tennis and everything so i don't know i really hope that we're gonna go and play tennis really really do hope because i'm very keen on playing tennis right now Oop, here we go he replied okay so we are gonna continue with tennis uh i'm gonna bring you i'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you with me okay. Hey. oh of course Okay, off to tennis we go, and it's actually quite really windy, so hopefully the wind doesn't like irritate you guys when you guys are listening to this vlog or watching this vlog or anything. Then look at it, the sun's out. The sun's out, you can see my shadow. Oh my goodness, I swear, Wollongong weather is just really funny at times, but the nature can't make her decision. And there's the man himself. Aloha, Mr. Dave. Vlog out. How are you today? Good, man. You? You like my big ass camera? <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm starting to look at it. So the first game, what's, what's that called? First, it's not sad. Is it sad? Okay, that first game thingy whatsoever. Dave kept returning the serve and literally just made it. Just made it. I don't know what to say to that. It's the wind. It's the wind. Well, all right, all done with the tennis game. And Dave's going around the corner because the ball is like literally upset the fence. I'm just picking all the balls now. It was a good game. He won in the end. Hey, stranger! Another what? What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> Look at him over there. Dude, in. <laughs> I don't think I can run another 5k. <laughs> Alright, I'll get the ball back. <laughs> it was a really good game though. Dave won. I kind of chucked a little bit. But it was good because our last tennis game, I won one. And now he's got one. So we have to have another one. I really do miss playing tennis though. I remember I used to play it. Against the wind. I remember I used to play so much again. Um, in high school, I used to play tennis so much, and I was in the competition and stuff. I mean, in high school in Sydney, when I was living in Sydney in high school, and I used to do competitions and stuff like that, and I was heaps good. I remember I think I went to the finals like twice, and I lost both of them. Don't know why. I think I was choked. I was just all choked up, and so many unforced errors. And I hate when I play 
the tennis game and I get a lot of unforced errors. I got a lot a lot of unforced errors today too as well. So yeah. And also I wore my Yeezys for tennis today. Well my Yeezys. Um it's okay. It's a it's an alright shoe to play to play tennis with. It's comfy. Do I look weird when I'm just like talking to a camera? Like all alone. <laughs> but yeah. I've got a camera instead. I don't need friends. I got internet internet friends. <laughs> also, I'm very indecisive about what brand I'm gonna wear today. Look, Dave. I've got Puma, and I've got Umbro, and I've got Adidas. Like, I've got Kmart socks. Brand deals. I've got all all of so many brand deals all over me. I'm wearing Puma, and I'm wearing Adidas shirt. I think they are Adidas, but it's like the newest one around. Oh my gosh, Pazzarazzi! Run! Run! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's exactly how I do my vlogs. <laughs> Literally. Come run, Pazzarazzi! No! <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna do the stopping. The stopping what? Alright. <laughs> hey I'm Dave. I, uh. I. Stop it! You're stop. embarrassing me. Oh, stop. Do I look good? Okay. I'm just this weirdo old guy that he plays tennis with. <laughs> Adios, amigo. But Dave is, whoa, that's very zoomed in. Ugh. But Dave is gone. He is going into Victory Town to go grab some food and stuff. And I'm just gonna go and go home. It was a really good tennis game. I already said, how, I don't know how many times I said it, but it was a really good tennis game. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go home, grab something to eat. Okay, so I got changed into my jumper and everything because I'm wearing long pants and everything because it is that damn chilly. Mom, what are you saying about this weather? It's insane, right? Where are you? It's crazy, right? Mom said, it's crazy, man. I quote her, it's crazy, man. Anyway, um, I am gonna go eat something. Well, let me just turn on this light because it's really, it's, it's dark. When the sun's not out, it's, so, it's just so dark. So we have, today's meal has a combination of Thai food and Indian food. So we got some Thai fried rice in there. And then we've got some minced meat in there, something. And we're just gonna eat it with, gonna eat it with this. It's called chapati. How do you, how do you, how do you describe chapati? Literally like a bread, like roti. It's something like, it's so chapati is like an Indian bread. For those of you who knows, well, yeah, you know. But I'm just saying it's like, for those of you who don't know, I'm just telling you guys that it is like an Indian bread. Like roti or naan, something like that. It's just kind of like that, but a little bit different. So I'm going to have a little bit of some Thai food and Indian food. Oh my gosh, my mom just really loves making Asian food. And it's just those two combination. And then I'm just going to feel like one taste, I'm going to feel like I'm in Thailand. And then another taste, I'm going to feel like I'm in India or something like that. I just received this news like I, I, don't, I don't even know how to say it it's kind of bad I'm literally trying to stop myself from like choking up so I was I was on YouTube and I was watching a couple of videos and stuff and I went on my phone I went on Twitter and it was hype beast he he was um was an article about it's about Dylan Reader and the headline said that Dylan Reader, pro skateboarder and model, passes away at 28. And this was two hours ago. 28 years old. He passed away from leukemia. That's insane. Like, I am a massive, massive fan of him. I've been watching him ever since 
I don't know, like, you know, ever since he was on Street League and stuff, I've been watching him and I've just been a massive fan of him ever since and for this whole time. And he passed away from leukemia. Man, that's insane. Like, <sighs> cancer is such a bitch. Like, literally, I mean, you know, oh, I don't know. It's It's very harsh for me to say that you know, like I'm blaming it on cancer and stuff and I don't know man, it's it's just insane and I just found out about this news and I just don't know what to feel, I don't know, my reaction is just it's hard for me to come up with words and say like it's such a tragic loss, like this, this year I feel has been such a tragic loss for just a lot of people um, I've just been lazing around for the whole entire day today. Every Thursday though is like my day off, so literally I just laze around, watch movies, uh, watch cartoons, watch TV shows, like catch up on TV shows. And that's basically, but Beckley, what is that? That's basically it. So yeah, I'm just lazing around. In a bright and positive manner though, the sun is a little bit out. You can see a little bit of a sun over there, except it's kind of like gone now. The clouds are just all over the sun right now. But it's okay. Today has been a great day though. I woke up super early actually. And yeah, to upload yesterday's vlog. I had to go play a tennis match with Dave which was fantastic I, I, I really do miss playing tennis but I don't know what the plan for the rest of the day is I think seriously I might just laze around for the whole entire day and just I don't know I'll, I'll see I'll see I was gonna go do some uni work but I literally just fell asleep I still cannot believe the news about Dylan Reader it's just I don't know it's uncanny man like at the age of 28, like you never know man, like cancer and stuff, it just takes you just like that and you never know. I hope is all I could say is rest easy Dylan Reader. Hope you're all okay now. That's basically it. Back into the house we go, back into the house. Shook so shook is shooting some mini hooks and He's trying to dunk your brows. Ooh, that layup. Do your shot. Yep. Ready for the shot. Here we go. <laughs> so I am literally just home alone right now. Just put the kettle on, that's why it's hella noisy. Um, I'm gonna do some work and I'm uh, gonna keep grinding. And I think it's good in a way that I'm home alone right now, so I don't have to like I guess procrastinate as much because you know I want to keep grinding, I want to keep improving my like well-being and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna keep grinding. Everyone left me all all at home alone. Chuk is at the library right now. He's going to the library because he's gonna go study with. A couple of his friends. I don't know how that's gonna turn out because I remember that during the HSC I tried studying with my friends and all in the library and I just couldn't do it. I could not concentrate and we just did something else instead and we made a full art out of ourselves and we got in trouble by the librarian because we were like low-key yelling out random stuff so that happened and yeah I just felt like Studying by myself is so much better. Anyway, that's that's his choice. It's all individuals on terms and conditions and stuff. So I'm not gonna argue with that. Putri is at her friend's house. They're just chilling and playing as a normal ten-year-old kid should do. Just enjoy with life because I know that once they grow up, everything is all gonna go. I I wouldn't say all go downhill, but you're gonna learn the truth. She's gonna find out the truth about everything and stuff and. I don't know, I just feel like, don't you feel like sometimes when you're a kid you ask all these questions 
and you, you literally just question everything and you find the joy in every single little thing and then once you grow up slowly older and older as you become as you grow older and older you stop questioning all these kind of things because you're scared that you're gonna ask stupid questions because you're gonna make yourself look idiotic which is so crazy to think about but I just feel like you know just keep asking those questions even if it's stupid or not because you never know what the an what the answer is going to be because it might be a very good question and you won't know because you yourself is holding back yourself if that makes sense so I hope that you know when Putri grows up and stuff um, she's still going to be you know she's still going to ask questions and stuff like that I, I, look at me I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying I'm trying to be all like philosophical and stuff like that you know no I'm kidding uh, yeah so I, I'm gonna go keep grinding and I'm gonna sip some green tea because I still feel like my chest is still feeling a little bit harsh to me because I still keep coughing and stuff so I'm gonna drink some hot water with honey and hope for the best Hey! 